So now we're going to go to looking at our microscopic urine sediment. We use SETI stain and unstained urine sediment. The SETI stain we use just for helping to identify your cells. And as sometimes it helps to look for casts as well because the cast will pick up a little bit of stain. So what we do is we scan our slide under low power. And we try to look around the edges of the cover slip as well because that's where any of your larger cells and casts will be pushed by the cover slip. So we just want to find the edge of a cover slip. Should have started on that. I'll just go up quickly. Should have started an edge. So there's the edge of your cover slip, and you just want to slowly go along, and you're looking for cells, clumps, and casts. And as well, if you can see any large crystals or debris in there as well. So you do this on your stained and unstained sediment. On 10 power, which is your low power. So we're gonna go over to our unstained sediment now. So that doesn't show up very. So for the unstained, you want to turn your condenser down. Thank you. <laughs> and again, just go around the edge of the cover slip. to look for casts, cell clumps. So after you've looked on 10 power at both your stained and unstained, you want to go up to 40 dry, and that is considered your high power. This is where you do your counting of your cells and your estimating of your crystals debris and fat, etc. So for cells, you count what you see, you count approximately five to 10 fields, and you take the average that you see in those five to 10 fields. For your fat, crystals, debris, etc., you average what you see in a field. So 5%, or scant is approximately 5% of the field, Mild is approximately 5 to 25, moderate is 25 to 75%, and abundant is greater than 75%. Today in this urine, we actually have some cells to show you. These are your red blood cells. If I can get the pointer there. These are red blood cells here. That's a red blood cell. Just up a little ways here, this is an epithelial cell. And we do have some white blood cells in here as well. There's a few white blood cells there. Some of this other little stuff in here, that would be probably bacteria. Bacteria is very hard to see on urine sediments, so sometimes there's additional stains that you can do or go up to your 100 oil to help you identify bacteria. So that's basically how you would look at your urine sediment.